You know, video game reviewing is a very popular genre on YouTube. All thanks to James Rolfe of the Avery Video Game Nerd. Even today, you still have people who are inspired by him. But you'll be surprised that there's actually a lot of drama, even back then. And on this episode of the History of Old YouTube, we're going to focus on one of the AVGN's biggest rivals, the Irate Gamer. <laughs> what a piece of cowabunga shit! The Irate Gamer was one of the most controversial imitators of the angry gaming reviewing genre. He is seen as a ripoff and a plagiarist. Cowabunga. Cow a fucking piece of dog shit! And this was in part due to his style of reviewing. The AVGN style would have Rolf showing himself on camera, footage of him playing the game, very harsh language, and some funny skits during these reviews. This is because James was a film student prior to the series, where the imitators were a lot more cheaper, each of them having their own style. Most of them don't even show their face. The irate gamer, on the other hand, was more clothed to James. The production quality even matches up with James' videos, too. But to a lot of people, he doesn't have that same charisma and energy. And he gets a lot of things incorrect. And just like the AVGN, he also sells DVDs of his work. Something that was fairly uncommon. There were a few videos where he reviewed the same games that the AVGN did, like Back to the Future and Ninja Turtles. Okay, I should probably bring this up. Another reason why IRA Gamer was hated was because he started flagging YouTube videos that were criticizing him. Although this happened very early in his career, and he quickly stopped doing it. I should also know that this was before the times of monetary gain on YouTube, like you see today. But I think it's something fairly important to know due to the IRA Gamer controversy. And then you have times where he stops being similar, and it starts to go to plagiarism territory. Okay, here's a trick I think everybody knows. When you're fighting Rocksteady, you jump up onto these crates with Donatello and you just keep hitting him with your bow. Now, what's really weird is the timing. I mean, you have to hit him when he's sort of ducking. Then check this out. Choose Donatello, jump on the crates to the right, and just beat him with your bow. And for some reason, he only gets hurt when he ducks down lower than he already was. It's some game designer who's laughing their ass off just decided to put a pizza down there. Okay, well, what's the point? Just what the fuck were they thinking when they placed a pizza box way down here? After the building you die, you touch the ceiling you die, you touch the floor you die, too far to the right you die, too far to the left you die, you die, you die, you die, you die, you die, die. Anything you touch here will instantly kill your ass. Touch the ceiling you die, touch the ground you die, touch the lava you die. Even if you think about touching anything in this level, you will die. Like, come on, dude. Plagiarism is a very big taboo, even more so in stand-up comedy. After all, they're making their living off these jokes. So someone stealing their content and passing off as their own is very scummy. And this really helped the malicious interpretation of the irate gamer. That he is a talentless hack, trying to leaf off the AVGN's fame. Then there's some very odd moments where people thought, well, actually, the AVGN was ripping off the IRA Gamer. The biggest example being the Silver Surfer case. Boris did put on his website that he showed interest in reviewing the game, but the AVGN beat him to the punch. Now, I don't know too much of the details since it's all deleted by this point. Most likely, the video was planned to have the review coincide with the Fantastic Four 2 movie, which he often does since he's a film buff at heart. So it was more of a coincidence. Also, reviewing the same game isn't plagiarism. If you did the Super Mario Bros. movie before I did, well, I got to the wizard before you did, so in your face. It's satirical. Nobody should care who reviews what first and when. There's no official sign-up sheet. If more than one person has seen the same movie, they can each express their own opinions. To many IRA Gamer fans, and some AVGN fans, sure, maybe there's a lot of similarity to the IRA Gamer and the AVGN. But it's more of a homage, rather than it being malicious. And one question might have been, why? What would be the point? The AVGN is far too well known for it to go unnoticed. And using similar lines on YouTube doesn't have that same gravity stealing from a comedian does. Not to say it doesn't warrant criticism, I'm not trying to justify it. But I do agree there are times where homage can cross the line to plagiarism, intentionally or not. There doesn't seem to be any malicious intent. While some may see him as an uncharismatic con man, others see him as a cheesy, wholesome, likable guy. Plus, writing the irate gamer off entirely because he reuses some catchphrases just seems very unfair. 
regardless in your opinion of this content. There was plenty of other games he reviewed, both new and old. The Ivory Gamer's character is built on speculation rather than actual proof, which can be very frustrating. It really does depend on whether or not you like Bored as a person or not. Part of me thinks he wasn't even trying to hide it. That he saw people knew those were references. After all, they were iconic moments. But it didn't go to that direction. But what I think was also damaging was the IRA Gamer's silence on the issue. Because the AVGN is never brought up at all. Now, the AVGN doesn't mind people using his style. But even he didn't like how the IRA Gamer did his videos. As time went on, many of the reviewers fell off the map. Some of them, literally. The IRA Gamer moved on with the times, too. Instead of reviewing games both old and new, Chris Bors rebranded his channel to being about Skylander games, and eventually based it around on toys. Both the AVGN and the Irate Gamer finally had their first crossover, and it was long overdue. Irate Gamer? What do you want? The Angry Video Game Nerd! And I gotta be honest, it's very uncanny seeing these two interact with each other. It's been over a decade of fans fighting over them, with so much silence on the issue. Even the Dick Tracy video gives us a nostalgia of old video game reviews at the time. So I'm pretty glad that him and the AVGN are getting along. And I think if there's one lesson to be learned here, is that silence isn't always golden, and can unfortunately cause more problems. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, you can see some of my other content. Hope to see you soon.